All right, now we're going to talk about the tough solves. It's going to be quick, but again, it's the idea. Ty Milford shot this ad. It's beautiful. It's for a water bottle company. And who knows, marketing reasons, whatever, they decided the tattoo was no bueno. Now, for just a second. So he sends it to me, and he's like, can you, hey, can you take that tattoo out? And I'm like, ooh. E. Yeah, I can. And I'm like, ah, this new frequency separation thing. This should work. So I started it, and it wasn't as easy as I thought, but it provided a huge breakthrough for me with the program. So before and after, before and after. I also did a color correction on top of it to smooth it out a bit more, but I'm going to turn that off for now. Let's unpack. Don't be scared. All right. Whoa! All right, so here's what we have. I started the frequency separation like normal, and I started cloning or painting, and I realized in two seconds this wasn't going to fly. I was like, uh-oh. I'm a firm believer in Adobe Stock. I love Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock is my friend, and I use it on most jobs. But I don't use it the way people think I'm going to use it. I found a body on Adobe Stock with an arm with, in about as best of a position as I could find. Now why I did that is because I cannot paint. I can't render. Like if I could have drawn that muscle, I would, have done, I would have done it by hand, but I'm not that good of a renderer. But I love my stock. Okay? Paint, I apologize I didn't label all these layers. Painted the shoulder, painted underneath, painted a highlight. Painted his arm. This started getting tricky. His foreground arm and little, little, this, that one little layer is just a little bit here. I mean, I still had to paint because it wasn't the exact copy. Had I had a muscular man in my neighborhood or in my vicinity, I would have shot him and said, hey, could you just put your arm here? And then it would have been much, much, much faster. You can do that with your iPhone. Because do you see how blurry that was? I, I just need a blurry shot. I don't need an in-focus shot. All right. Again, a little foreground, forearm painting. I'm going to close that up because it's a hard to look at. And then on the gray, I ain't going to lie, the gray took a minute. That was cloning. But think about the cloning, you guys. How hard is that? I don't have to worry about the color. I'm just cloning skin texture. That's all I have to do. OK? And then I got clever. Because he's got water on him, right? Water beading? <gasps> I took the water drops from here, lassoed it, copied it, moved them right there. I can't spell forearm. Droplets, retouch, gray, copy. I just literally command a little lasso, copy, move, lasso, copy, move. That was a good touch. Forearm patch. Forearm patch. I'm going to pull this out so you can see it. I quite literally took his forearm. I'm going to command J this a bunch so you can see it. I grabbed his, for, sorry, his forearm and, and used it because it had more skin texture and just did a little teeny tiny patch. OK? And then uh, a little flat gray. A little flat gray. So right there. What's the flat gray for? Do you remember the wrinkles? So when I say flat gray, that's the color of 50% gray. And it takes away wrinkles. So I just use it. Again, the screen's a little chicken. Uh, I, I painted it right there. Now, do you remember on the demo before, I filled a whole layer with the color 50% gray and masked it in? You don't have to do that. You could quite literally pick in your foreground color the color 50% gray. 50% gray, saturation zero. Um, and just hand paint it. It's more important for me that you know the idea, that that's the thing to do. All right, and then I did a little white highlight right there. This is me getting a little minutia looking because he had that hot, crispy white thing, right? Right there on his forearm. Well, I painted that out. Well, how did I do that? Do you remember that red channel I pulled for the shadows on his feet on, on the seamless dude? I did the exact same thing. I pulled a channel from the original. But I used it for highlights instead. So I pulled the channel to get the highlights. 
You can't pull the red channel for that, by the way. You need something like the blue channel. I'm going to grab the channel by its name, drag it to the Add a Copy icon, Command L, Lisa loves le levels, and I want to darken it because I just want the highlights. Okay? And then I just put the highlights back in with white paint. How did I do that? I, after I made the, the uh, image, command click on the channel I've just made, white fill forearm blue, ch blue copy. You, label your layers, please, because two months from now you're not going to remember what you did. And I used the color white. I'm going to hide this so you can just see me painting. And I just painted the highlights in. Cool, so details back in. So again, that, that job took me two hours. Now it would take me much, much, much less. So the takeaway here is, is for you guys to figure out what would you do if you had to solve this problem? How would you fix it? It's paint or get the paint. I got the paint from Adobe Stock because I can't paint forearms, okay? That was a lot. I know most people's heads are spinning. If it was too much, take a breath, watch it again. Too much? You're going to have to watch this like seven times, I would say. Do you think seven's pretty fair? Excellent. And um, if it's all went over your head, it's cool. Come back in a year and you'll be ready for it. Um, I, am, um, I have a bunch of classes here at, at Creative Live. On the paperwork, you'll have the how-to. There is a frequency separation fabric PDF available for you. I've got some actions, which will do these for you. Get good, then get fast. I'm at Lisa, lisacarney.com. Let me go backwards one more for that. I really don't want you to miss that. Why I want you to make sure you know how to get a hold of me is if you have a question, email me. Don't get mad. Don't say bad things about me on the internet. If you have a question, just say, hey, Lisa, what was that step number two? And I'm here to help.